Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Today we're on the red carpet at the Drama League Awards, where we're speaking with some of Broadway's biggest names. Get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. Co-host, by the way, coming over. I thought she was coming over. No. I was going to throw no, her into no, the rockets. No, she's not. She's not. We There's a restraining order. We have a restraining order. <laughs> I was going to throw the co- upstairs and rehearse. We have a lot of rehearsing your to do. Your co-hosting. I don't know what we're doing down here. I was just saying your co-host no, is don't. coming oh. over. What can everybody expect from the two of you? We're, we're name delivery service. That's, that's what we're. That's what we're doing. We are we not messing be, up people's names. We are way names. too that's tired to be expected to do any comedy. Well, what do we look like? Jesse Tyler Ferguson? Yeah. Actually, if you combine the... No, no, Actually, even then. Maybe a little bit. There's no maybe ginger in either you one of us. You need some That's ginger not, in there. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Speaking of which, beard. I just congratulated him on his Tony Award. Congratulations on your Tony, Tony nomination. Tony nomination. <laughs> I don't... Like, from my mouth to God's ears, congratulations on your Tony nomination. Thank How you exciting. So much. How excited were you? I was thrilled. I mean, this is insane. I had no idea. I, this was so far from my radar. I, it's just amazing. Tell us when you're going to arrive in New York on that Sunday. I, this was so far from my radar <laughs> that I booked a, an Australian concert tour over all of the awards that liked the Drama Desks and the Tonys. So now we've arranged it so that I land in at JFK at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. After a... 30, 30 hour, hour flight, flight, mind you. Are you going to be getting ready on the plane? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have awesome. like a mask on in the plane. I'm going to be that lady. Yeah. So the award nomination just keep racking up, man. Talk to me about being here for the Drama League Awards. Oh, this is a really fun one. This is one where you get to sit with some of the most incredible people working in theater and say, oh, yeah, I had lunch with them. <laughs> and they're saying that about you. Yeah. And we're all telling the truth. You're the show of the year, but what other shows are you a fan of this year? Oh gosh, um, I just saw the revival of Color Purple on my day off uh, the other day, I and just saw that you said the wow. knocked me out. Oh my God, is she a blessing to the world? Holy cow! Um, so thrilled with that show. Saw School of Rock last week, which I loved. I think it has Andrew Lloyd Webber's some of his greatest new music in years. Um, so it's an incredible season, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of this incredible season. The response to your show when you guys don't do this for the awards, but when you start getting the nominations, what does it mean to you? It was beautiful, and I mean, really at the core of it, it was such an affirmation, you know. Um, when I created the show, I was I was broke. I was, you know, trying to figure out how to scrape, scrape my way to Liberia. I was praying these women would open up to me and give me permission to tell their stories. I was, it was, it was a scary and, you know, precarious moment. And it was all for the love of trying to get these stories heard and get these women out of the context of statistics, at least in the small way that I could. So to see this journey, to end up here on this day and end up where we've ended up, I mean, I just, I can't even put it to words how mind-blowing it is. Talk to me about being here for the Drama League Awards. Oh, it's great. I, I was here a number of years ago, I, over a decade ago, for uh, this play I did called Bug. And uh, I wasn't sure if I'd ever be back again, so it's, it's nice to be back, yeah. You get to work with such an unbelievable cast, including yourself with Long Day's Journey. Talk to me about getting to work with Jessica and John. What's that experience been like? Well, I'm in, I mean, I'm in love with Jessica. I mean, I, I, I've never seen somebody work so hard. I've been doing this for 25 years now, and what she's putting into this performance is, uh, is awe-inspiring. And then, you know, John Gallagher Jr. playing my little bro, uh, We've really established uh, quite a special rapport with one another, I feel like. Uh, that scene that we do together at the end of the play is very, very difficult, but it, he makes it a lot easier. So when he's not in a modern family, Jesse Tara Ferguson is playing 40 characters all in one show. What's that experience been like for you? Uh, it's unlike anything I could have imagined it being. It's, it's thrilling, it's exhausting, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. I love, I love being on stage. I love acting with other actors. Uh, I'm thrilled to 
act with other actors in the very near future, but it has been a really, really fantastic challenge for sure, yeah. How taxing it is an experience is it? Because you star in one of the most iconic comedies of a generation, that, but it's an ensemble. Yeah. So having to carry so much by yourself, how taxing is it? Well, it's, it's, it's very hard, but I was trained in the theater. This is what I've always wanted to do. It's what I'm happiest doing. Uh, so it's, it's, I'm always looking for projects that stretch my muscles and are completely different from what I do on Modern Family. And playing 40 different characters on Broadway, I've went from an 84-year-old senior citizen to, you know, a uh, uh, French maitre d' is, is the most uh, opposite thing from Modern Family I could possibly think of doing. For both of you, you're such successful film actors. What has it been like with The Crucible transitioning to Broadway? I think, well, we both theatre actors as well, but it's, theatre is different in, in a lot of the theatre that we've both done in Britain has been different because we do things for a shorter amount of time. I haven't done any West End stuff, which is longer, and often we do things in repertoire, so it might be at the National until you'll have one show, but you're doing a few performances a week. So to, to get the energy, you have to have a lot of energy to do Broadway is a, and stamina. It's a different sort of energy is required because you have to do eight shows a week, there's no let up, and you've got to be a bit of a Trojan to get through it all. The Crucible, remaking it, how familiar were you guys going in with Arthur Miller's work, and how, how do you separate it and make it your own? Um, I was quite familiar because we'd studied it at school, yeah. um, but well, I thought I was familiar because actually when, when it came to doing it with Evo I realised I didn't understand the play at all really or hadn't really investigated it. So it feels like a very different play now that we're in the middle of the run to how it felt ap approaching it. Talk to me, A, about your Tony nomination, and B, you're here at the Drama League Awards. Yes. Both so exciting, I'm sure. I, I just feel really, really overwhelmed by how wonderful all of this is and how welcome I feel with all of these things happening. I, I didn't expect that in a million years this would all be happening all at once the first time I stepped on a Broadway stage. It's completely surpassing all my expectations, and I, I'm, I'm just completely happy and really pleased to be a part of this community. What did you think of this year of Broadway? Pretty incredible, right? Really incredible. And what's really hard for me is that I was just in L.A. for four months shooting Transparent, the third season of the show that I'm doing for Amazon Prime, and I wasn't able to be here. And there were all these openings and all these shows, so now I come back like in a week and I'm like like throwing myself at the theater trying to see everything that I possibly can. And I will. I'll go away for the weekend and then I'll come back and see more. So I saw you saying hello to Zach Levi a yes. second. How do you know that guy? We're in a show together. How crazy, right? Yeah. And you both got Tony nominated. We did. How awesome, right? It's pretty exciting. Where were you when you found out? I was in my um, in my apartment with my husband. We were watching the broadcast. What's your reaction? I was very excited. I was very happy. What? I mean, what else are you, am I going to say? <laughs> well, I was fine. Like, it was incredible. Like, I, oh, who cares? It yeah. sucks. No, I I, uh, I leapt to my feet with joy. Oh, how cool to be here, right? Uh, yes. I, it's, I, I didn't know much about them until I was nominated for one, and now I know a lot about them. And I think 900 of us are nominated and someone is going to win, and we get to eat on a stage. That's what I know. That's a win-win in my book. If I knew that I was going to be eating on a stage in my life, I would have learned to eat slower. Tell me about your experience on Broadway this season. It's great. School of Rock. And it's just... And a Tony nomination with it as Yes, well. which is nuts. And it's fun, and it's... I would do this for free, so the fact that people are not only paying me for it, but, but giving me accolades is a cherry on top of this holy crap Sunday kind of thing going on. Who are you starstruck by in this room tonight? Well, I haven't seen James Earl Jones yet, but I heard that he's maybe here. He's behind me alphabetically, so fingers crossed I get to see him. Um, and Reed, Bernie, and Jane Howdy Shell are super fans. I mean, I'm super fans of theirs. And uh, Mike Shannon, of course. He was just here? Right I here. know. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm off Broadway right now uh, at uh, Second Stage uh, doing a show called Dear Evan Hansen. It's been really wonderful. The response to the show has been very incredible, and the way that people seem to be moved by it is really wonderful. And we're very hopeful that we will make that leap next season um, to Broadway, fingers crossed. Um, and it's been great to create a role from the ground up in a completely original piece that's not based on any movie or a book or a TV show. Just to create a musical from scratch is really very gratifying. It's got to be exciting to be here at the Drama League. It's, um, it really is. I mean, on Tuesday, I will celebrate my 71st birthday. And so sometimes, it's, oh, if you just hang in there and stay in line, something great will happen. And I think this is a wonderful honor for me um, at this date in my life. And I'm doing a wonderful play. With, by a wonderful writer with a wonderful director and a great company. So it's all come together in a kind of a, um, it's, it's kind of an epiphanous 
um, experience for all of us. Tell me about your experience on Broadway this season. Oh my god, it's so fun. Honestly, it's so fun. It's not at all what I expected. It's a lot harder than I expected. And I just love that everyone respects each other's work because um, it's not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. You know, you got to be like an athlete. You have to take care of yourself. You have to deliver and deliver and deliver and deliver. And doing the same thing over and over again, you feel like you're going absolutely crazy. But um, but to keep it fresh and all of that, I mean, that the, the talent in here is insane. So it's very cool to be recognized for that. I'm so used to not being nominated or at any... I, I come to these events just sort of as an, an onlooker most of the time. To be here, it's, it's kind of petrifying and nauseating and wonderful, all of those things. Talk to me about this season on Broadway. It's one of the best seasons in recent memory. What's it been like for you? Well, I, I can't say that I can compare it to any other season because it's my absolutely first time to be here. I'm having a Broadway debut here, so it's all like just mind blowing. Um, I'm just looking at all these people and all these talented people, and I just want to see what they're doing, and I can't because I'm working. But it's just exciting. I'm just happy to be here. I feel like I've been in, being embraced by a warm, by big loving warm arms of the Broadway community, and I, I'm not going. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to stay. This talent, the lunch, it's got to be awesome. Yes, it's awesome. I'm more excited about the lunch than the talent. Everyone says that every year. Do they? It's my first time. Oh, it's the best time on, that you're going to have with all of this talent. Good, because it's a lot of time. <laughs>